Hey everyone, it's Monty here again doing another Smashbook process video and here I already took out some stuff that I wanted to use on this page and this is uh, a couple more pictures from um, the time me and my little sister went out to the marina and we took some scenic pictures with our long boards and um, these these were really silly ones. We I was messing around and she snapped pictures of me so... <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to make a page because one of them I'm messing around. Well, both of them I'm kind of messing around in. But anyway, so um, I just am going to mat them down on this really pretty um, navy blue pattern paper. I love this pattern paper. Um, I'm so sad that I'm almost done using this piece. But uh, I really, really like it. And I really thought that it went really well with the pictures. And... Um, yeah, so this page is, um, I didn't really know where I was going with it. Uh, this was my first page back from taking my kind of like little vacation from Smashbooking. Um, I was doing the other project, which I actually posted a video on, uh, my quilling project. And it took me a little while. It took me about two weeks, I think, to make it, um, on and off. It wasn't like consistently two weeks, but... Um, yeah, so that's why I, my mess, my mess, my desk was a mess and because I had all those paper strips all over my desk, so I didn't have time to clean up and do a Smashbook page. That's why I just decided to stop for a little bit and it kind of, uh, made me want to get back to Smashbooking all the more, so that was a good thing. Um, so now I'm just going to cut up this pattern paper here and these are all pattern papers from the hip kits that I've gotten and I think these were the older ones. These ha have been in my stash for a little while. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, because I am a little bit behind on using my Smashbook, my Smashbook, my hip kits. So I have to get back on that. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to be layering these up and I kind of wanted them to look a little bit messy. On one of the pictures, it actually, my printer for some reason messed up on the printing at the bottom. That's why I'm overlapping the pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to have one kind of like offset. And yeah, so now I'm just going to kind of fill out the rest of that page because that floral pattern paper wasn't wide enough. Um, so I'm just going to put this just paper strip that I had left over. Um, I really like the other side. It has all like the, it's like black and white and it has words on it. And, but I decided to use the blue one instead. So now I'm just going to, um, use my tiny attacher to attach my two photos together. And then I'm just going to start, uh, gluing everything down. <clears throat> this page didn't take me very long. Um, I think it took me about 25 minutes, I think. Um, which is usually how long a Smashbook page takes me. It's about 30, 35 minutes. Sometimes if I'm really struggling, it's usually about like a, an hour-ish. Um, usually I come back to it though if it takes me a little bit longer than usual. Um, but now I'm just gonna finish layering and just uh, going through my embellishments and seeing what I want to use. And I end up using um, a uh, phrase that says smile and that's kind of going to be my, um, uh, title. So I did want to add another title to it, but I completely forgot about it. And I actually had it in that little contain, that little tray that I took out at the beginning. Um, but I really, I forgot that I had it there. <laughs> I had already had the letters picked out and everything, but I can use it on something else. Um, and then I took out this, um, <clears throat> picture frame and it has, I put some vellum on it and I had it in my stash for a while. It's from one of the, um, chipboard sheets that we get from the hip kids. So <clears throat> I had it in my stash for a while cause I couldn't figure out where to use it. And I finally decided to use it on this page and I really like all these florals. These are, I believe they are exclusive to the hip kit if I'm not mistaken, um, they're really, really pretty though. So here's when I use that smile, uh, thicker phrase. 
And now I'm just going to put some twine on my tag and I actually end up just tying it and then gluing it on because I really wanted it to be like a perfect little bow. Um, and I didn't want to spend too much time on it. So I just ended up doing that. And pretty soon here I think I start just attaching everything because it doesn't take me very long to figure out where I want everything to go. <coughs> and... Um, what else? I do add some enamel dots, I believe, but that will be at the end. What else do I do here? Mm, I don't think I end up add, adding that wood veneer piece. Um, I have these little tab punches, but I don't think I end up adding those either. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me I get really bad allergies right in the morning and that is what happens um when I have my coughing going on but sorry um so anyways then I'm just going to I think I add some I do add this wood veneer it says terrific on it um because on that side of the picture this it was like a parking lot or something like that so it was kind of like weird um but yeah, now I'm just going to start gluing everything down and I, like I said, I really like these floral pieces. They're super cute. Um, and I'm not sure if I have pictures at the end. I apologize if I do not have pictures at the end. I really wanted to get these uh, videos up soon because like I said, I haven't, I've been MIA for a little while. Um, I haven't really been posting much on my YouTube channel and I apologize. So actually I, w I should have put that butterfly right there. I don't know why I didn't. Um, I do end up putting some, um, like word phrases and I do, I think I end up putting some of these wood veneer hearts. I really like them because they're, um, they're like painted on one side and then on one half and then on the other side they're not. I thought that was really cute. And those have been in my stash for a long time too because they're part of the hip kit. They were part of one of the hip kits so. And then I just put this little label down at the bottom to make sure that I write down the date that we took these. And then I added this cute little hot air balloon flare and those are from Prima. I thought that the colors coordinated really really well. Uh, even though it has nothing to do with hot air balloons, but I really like it. I thought it was so cute. Um, so this is when I'm adding those, um, stickers and I think, I want to say that was pretty much it that I did. And then I added some enamel dots at the end. Um, yes, I think that was pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, if hopefully I took pictures and I will put those at, post those at the end like usual. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. And hopefully I will see you guys in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching. 